You think I should make the future joke again? <laughs> that I do every time we have one of these? Probably well, yeah. not. Oh, no, don't. Don't do it? Uh-uh. Okay. Greetings from the <laughs> past. <laughs> uh, Out of Darkness is a movie that we got a screener for because we're so <laughs> cool and such a popular channel. <laughs> I, like, begged. You were like, I like, please. yeah. Friggin' Lee from Drum Dums saw it and he told me, and I was like, Where did I get a copy? And he's like, Well, here's the email. And I wrote him up and was like, Am I on mailing list anymore? Because I didn't get a copy. And then they were like, All right, like here you go. You here. little, just throw him a bone so he doesn't cry. Aww. So here I am, not crying. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Out of darkness. Um, so this is a subgenre of horror that I feel like we definitely do not get enough of, and I'm, and I've always been, um, an advocate for it because I think it, I think it eliminates a lot of issues that are raised by modern horror. And that is, you know, there's, there's quite a few things, but of course, like number one is, is, that you can so readily, easily get help, mm. right? So what this movie is about is it's set in the Stone Age um, with Linkovich Chamovsky no. from Estonia. Linkovich is not in this no? movie. No? Oh, that's Encino, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Encino, yeah. Um, but yeah, same, same time period that Linkovich would have been in. Yep. Yeah. He's not in this movie, though, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, as far as the premise goes, um, what would you say the premise of this movie I would say it's about a, like, nomadic group uh, that are, like, traveling to a new area. Yeah. They're in search of food and, like, sh like, you know, a place basically to mostly find food. <laughs> and I guess maybe make some shelter for themselves. But they're definitely nomadic, so... That's really it. They're going to like this new area that's like kind of unknown to the to most of them, except for like the elder that's with him. Yeah. Who tells them a like in the very beginning, literally like, first opening of the movie. Literally. Tells them a story about how like the land is like cursed or haunted or like there's evil spirits that yeah. live there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and that's like the setup, and then they they go to this new area. It was interesting. Yeah. It was definitely interesting. Um, I want to have a caveat before we start this review, though. And this is shitty because we did ask for this specifically to review it early. Although we don't get to put this out for weeks from now. But regardless, we got distracted a lot. A lot, a lot during this movie. We had to watch it on the computer, number one, which sucked. Because for some reason, our link would not go up to the television. And we had to pause this thing like seven, eight different times. We did. Like every 10 minutes. And that completely breaks the flow of a yeah. film like this. So this is something that I, I definitely want to watch again. Yeah, me too. But go on. I, I just want to make sure people understand that we did not get to watch this in one continuous sit on a nice TV. Um, that sucks. But Well, sucks. and I, I actually think this is a film that would be suited to see like in theaters like on a big screen i think that would be beneficial mm -hmm. um i really like the atmosphere of this though i feel like you know especially because of the time period that it's set in i don't feel like we ever get a lot of movies especially horror movies from that time um so, so it's very unique in that way yeah. And because of the like like the setting, like things feel so isolated. And it does have this like mysterious like spooky what's out there, nobody knows, like it's all unexplored territory yeah. and like we don't have, you know, obviously don't have the kind of communication that we have, you know, years and years later. So I liked all of that. I liked the isolation feel. I liked the like nature and the environment itself. And the film is also, which I didn't know this, but it's entirely spoken in like a made up language, which is really impressive. And yeah. I'm always like, I, I always think that's so weird whenever movies are like, when it's not a real language, like when it's a fake language 
and the actors are speaking a fake language and acting in this fake language, yeah. it's like impressive. Yeah. So I'm just like, you're literally saying nonsense, but you have to memorize the lines as though, like you do have to basically learn the language to deliver your performance. So I think that's really cool. Um, and I think that makes it very immersive too, in that way, yeah. where it really feels like these are like early, early humans. Like it's a totally different like humans than today. Yeah. Um, so that was neat. That was definitely really neat. You also don't have to worry about anyone like correcting that you're not doing the language right. I know. <laughs> like they, you could just be like, ah, oh, I messed up my line, but who would Who know? would know? Who would know? The guy who created the language He's for like, it. You said it wrong. Yeah. You think I spent a year of my life creating a language for this? Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think overall, like I liked the film. The ending, I think, is really powerful. And I quite enjoyed that. Like, it's messed up. <laughs> it's a pretty messed up ending. It wasn't, it didn't go where I thought it was going to go. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is, so I started with that caveat because I do think that I might change my opinion on a second viewing. Mm. But for some reason, the one aspect of this film that didn't really work for me was the horror. Mm. I just, and I, and I think there's a reason why that is. And it's because of a spoiler. So I can't really say what it is. But I just feel like they were limited mm. with the horror because of the spoiler. And that, to me, kind of hurt the film a little bit because, but, but I do feel like maybe in theaters mm -hmm. or on a bigger screen like our TV and uninterrupted, that would have a better flow to it yeah. that would build on the, you know, the tension and the eeriness and the atmosphere and all of that stuff. But I do agree that, like, the ambiance mm -hmm. of that time really works well. And another thing that I really liked and, and respected about this, in addition to the language, is this had a very authentic look to the characters yeah, for the most part, like especially design. the main girl uh -huh. who, you know, these roles to me for actors, especially like unknown actors, um, are uh, ballsier roles to take mm. because... Unfortunately, you know, as a woman, a lot of the times you want to be seen for like your beauty and your attractiveness mm. to try to appeal to uh, further roles. And then once you have established yourself, then you can take like the the monster, you know, role mm. like Charlie Theron did or something. Like once you've already established yourself, you can mm. take like the, the darker roles, you know, like Brad Pitt was like the heartthrob. And then he finally got to play like early grace in California or like, you know, the dude in 12 monkeys or whatever. Like you get to show your range later. Mm. And these are so th what this kind of reminded me of in that way. And of course, I would probably liken it to this film because this is one of the other period piece horror movies we've got in recent memory, which is The Witch. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, it feels kind of like a Robert Eggers movie in that way, yeah. but just without the more indie sophistication right yeah. it doesn't feel exactly like that it's it, it is kind of trying to go for that and i think that it's fairly successful um it doesn't have the pizzazz and the like there's something special and unique uh about robert eggers movies like the northman or the lighthouse or you know even the witch like there's some kind of a prestige to it that is hard to per properly articulate there's a there's a substance to the screen and it, when i'm watching it mm. and this just doesn't have that kind of level to it to me by any means but i do like the swing here and i am a fan of what they were to accomplish within this with you know, having this new language with having these characters and the setting feel authentic. Um, 
And there's a there's a film I would I'd love to liken it to, but once again, that would be spoilery. Um, but if I was to liken it to something else, you know, you you could get flavors of Prey, yeah, and of course uh, Pitch Black, um, with Vin Diesel, mm. the first Riddick movie mm. um, from the Riddick trilogy. Um, but yeah. There was something missing here, but I do feel like it's a good movie, and I do feel like there's gonna be people who love it. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think a lot of people are gonna love it, but I do think a lot of people will like it a good yeah. deal. Um, overall, I do think it's worth people's time if you are into the idea and setting of a period piece horror, mm -hmm. uh, one of which we rarely ever see something this far back. We basically never go because horror typically doesn't have much of a budget. Yeah. It's hard to do period pieces. Um, now, when you go back to this time, you really just kind of go found footage style in a way and, <laughs> and, and get people really like primitive looking clothing. <laughs> and all you need is like a torch, right? right? There's not much to the wardrobe department here. They're just kind of wearing like cloth uh and and I like, the, I like the costume design though yeah I like i thought it was cool yeah no um, i like the look of everything i, I don't think, i don't know if it's like i think aesthetically it works period accurate or anything but period accurate let's well, check well i mean maybe right yeah. like for a movie like this like i would think so i was also kind of thinking that um you know like it's it was weird like you're watching like early humans but i think in some ways Another reason we might not get horror like this far back or even just like a lot of movies in general this far back is that it's like so far removed from where we are in modern sure. life. Like it's almost hard to relate. Like there are certain things, of course, that are like universal human, like they're looking for food and like they want to survive. And like there are certain dynamics in the group that you're like, OK, like I, I see those and everything. But also, some of the dynamics are just, like, not at all things that we really have in the world anymore, like, in our society, at least in our, like, Western society. So, yeah. I do I do kind of wonder, yeah, if it makes it a little, like, less of an impact horror-wise because you're not, like, as connected to the characters as you would be, like, watching a Victorian, like, era horror movie or something. Yeah. You know, a little closer to modern times. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I just... It was just interesting thought that I had. I mean, it, it, you got a good point. Um, it is interesting, though, that if you were to throw, like, a dragon in here, yeah. then that would go away. Yeah. Right? Because, like, if someone had a sword and there was a dragon and all the characters and situations were like very similar. instead. If you just threw a little fantasy in, yeah. people would immediately be like, oh, that's different. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Um who knows? I don't know. Yeah. And it, and it's not like we can relate to like Star Wars, but we do. Yeah, but right. It's that's so far removed from what we know. It is. To, right. There's, there's also like. But there's always connective there's tissue. Always, yeah, you're right. There is always. I'm not saying that this is like. Totally I, I think you're right though. To. I uh, just just an observation, but I still like. I do think it's a good movie, and I do too. Um, I do too. Yeah, I definitely would. I think it's quite good. Watch it, and yes. I think it's cool. I think it's a really unique horror movie and i would actually <laughs> i actually would be fine going to see it in theaters when it comes out yeah me too just to get the the big Experience. screen and the like immerse immersion of like all that yeah me too i actually think that this upcoming um movie at amc the 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 sneak peek the movie that's coming out here on the 29th on mm. Monday mm -hmm. is going to be this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this. Okay. Like we could, I could be wrong, but we, you guys will already know by now because I don't think we're allowed to uh, release this till February 5th. Uh, but um, yeah, anyways, that's that. That's um, yeah, it's a good one. Definitely check it out. If, if you were interested in it, I don't think it's going to let you down. Um, and you might like it even more than we did. But I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And thanks for sending it to me. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> Bye. Bye.